Today, you are going to learn how to achieve cinematic color grading using Photoshop. And to follow along, I'll be leaving the link where you can get this whole file in the description below of this video. Let's jump right into it. So to color grade this image, we are going to be using four Photoshop adjustment layer, the color lookup table, the color balance, the selective color, and finally, the curves adjustment layer. As we all know, the most popular cinematic color combination is the teal and orange. So the first two we are going to do, I've already done the scale retouching for this image. So see the before and the after. So the first adjustment layer we're going to be using is the color lookup table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this adjustment layer right here and just click on color lookup table right here. So once I click on color lookup, it's just going to open for me and I'm going to come to low 3 lots and just scroll the way down and click on this teal and orange right here. And the color lookups I'm going to be using for this video is available in all Photoshop so you can easily follow along as you're watching this video. All right. So after I apply that teal and orange, obviously it's looking too much, but see the before and the after. So this is our foundation. What I'm going to do from here, I'm going to come to my opacity and just reduce the opacity a little bit. So let's say it's about 40. All right. So the before and the after. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, pay close attention. I'm going to come to my adjustment layer again, click on color lookup again. And this time, click on load 3D lot and use on this three strip right here. Now, the reason I want to use this three strip right here is because I want to bring back some of the reds on the image. So looking at this image right now, you can see we no longer have reds on the image. So to bring back those reds, I'm going to click on this three strip look right here. And it's going to bring back those reds as you can see. All right, now see the before and the after. But obviously it's looking too much. So what we're going to do, remember, come to the opacity and just take down the opacity until you feel it's okay. Now there's no perfect number, just reduce it until you feel it's okay. So I think 50 works for me for this. So see the before and the after. The before and the after, we are getting somewhere. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to my adjustment layer again click on color lookup table again, click on load to ready lot. Now what I want to do now, I want to add a bit of golden feel to my image. And to do that, after I load the color lookup again, I'm going to click on this edgy amber right here. And you can see the whole image is kind of golden right now, but I don't want the intensity because obviously the intensity is too much. So what we're going to do, we're just going to come to our opacity again and just reduce the opacity until we have just a tiny bit of gold golden look or golden shine on the image. So let's take it down even more. All right, so I think about 14 or 15 works. All right, so let's just use 15. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So we are getting somewhere, all right? Now looking at this image, you can see it's looking good, but the skin tone is off. So the next adjustment we are going to be using is the color balance adjustment. And we're going to be working specifically on the skin tone. To do that, I'm going to come to my adjustment layer again, come to my color balance. So this is my color balance right here. Click on it. And under the tone, we are going to be focusing on the mid-tones. All right, now for the mid-tones, remember mid-tones consist of red. So I'll come to my center and just add red to the skin tone like this. So maybe plus 10 works. Also under the yellows, I'm going to add a little blues to the yellows like this. Now you can see we're having our natural skin to bat and colors are still looking good. All right, so see our before and our after. Our before and after is looking a lot better. And if you feel it's too much, you can just come to the opacity and just take it down a little bit. So let's take it down to about 90. So 90 works, our before and our after, all right? Now, next thing I'm going to do, I still want to work on the skin tone and just balance it and make it look really good. It's time for you to like this video if you've learned it from this video so far. And also, help some of your friends who you think might learn something from this video by sharing this video to them. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my selective color. Now I'll come to my adjustment layer again. I'll click on selective color right here. Let's see. Okay, selective color right here. I'm going to click on it. And this time I want to work in specifically on the yellows and the reds. So first of all, I'll come to the red channel and just play with the science and see. So for the red channel, I'm just going to remove a little bit of science like this. All right, still on the red channels, I'll come to the yellows and just play with the yellow sliders and see. So I think I'm going to leave the yellow slider on zero. Now I come to the yellow channel again. In the yellow channel, I'm still going to play with the cyan and see what I want to do. Now for the yellows, I'm going to remove cyan from the yellows 
like this and i'll come to the yellow slider play with it and remove yellows from the yellows as well so minus five works for me now see the before and the after the before and the after now if i show you how to make it look even more cinematic let me first of all group everything i've done so far so you can see where we started from and where we are right now so this is our before you can see how dull the image is and our after our before and after now next i'm going to do i'm going to come to my curves adjustment layer so click on adjustment layer again and just click on curves adjustment layer right here once i click on curves adjustment layer i want to face the image a little bit now to fade it i'm going to add a pointer here on the shadow part a pointer on the mittens and another pointer on the highlight part like this and just come to the shadow part and just move it inside a little bit just to fade it and come to the highlight part and bring it down a little bit like this so see the before and the after now i feel it's looking too much i'm going to come to my opacity and just reduce the opacity a little bit like so all right so uh before and after now i like the contrast i'm having on this image the contrast look good i'm going to leave it like this but if you want to reduce contrast to your image or you feel your image is too contrasty what you can do you can come to your adjustment layer again and click on brightness or contrast once you click on brightness or contrast you can just reduce the contrast a little bit and maybe take the brightness up like this but i'm going to take the brightness like i said i'm not going to be reducing the contrast because i like the contrast i have on this image so see the before and the after i'm going to delete this brightness and contrast layer because i like the contrast like this now the last thing i'm going to do for this image i'm going to add digital noise to this image and just make everything blend now to do that i'm going to add an empty layer once i add an empty layer i'm going to come to my edit i'm going to click on fill and i'm going to fill with 50 percent gray make sure mode is on normal opacity is 100 make sure this preserve transparency is not checked and i'm going to click on ok all right now next thing i'm going to do from here i'm going to come to my filter I'm going to come to my noise. I'm going to click on add noise right here. Once I click on add noise, I'll make sure it's of Gaussian and monochrome selected. I'm just going to increase the noise. So if I zoom in now, you can see the noise on the image is looking too much. So I'm going to take it down a little bit. So let's use about 10 and hit OK. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to come to my blend mode, change it from normal to soft light. So once I change it to soft light, I'm just going to zoom in. Now you can see we have the standards on this image and it's looking too much obviously so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come here to my opacity and reduce the opacity of the noise a little bit like so all right so let's go back and let's see where we started from and where we are right now see where we started from and our after our before and our after now from here if you feel the color grading is looking too strong or it's looking too much what you can do you can just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity of the overall color grade you did so let's take it to about 70 and see all right so this is the before and the after the before and the after so this is how you can easily achieve cinematic color grading using photoshop and if you want to learn how i retouch this image from start to finish you can check out this video right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative